Hey guys, it's Kitty from Kitty Sparkle Studios, and today I am going to be customizing a My Little Pony blind bag. Woo! here and I have this is the most recent wave of the My Little Pony blind bags the last video we did I think was the wave prior to this one so this is the most recent wave that they have out right now so I'm gonna open this and once I've opened it I am going to customize it with my craft paint and make it Halloween themed or as some of you My Little Pony lovers may know Nightmare Night themed because Halloween is right around the corner and I wanted to make a special video to customize this blind bag. Also, I haven't done a watch me customize in like forever guys, so this video really needed to be made. All right, so the My Little Pony blind bags, I believe that we got this from Target for $2.49 and it wasn't in the blind bag section, it was in the My Little Pony aisle in the toy store. So that, that's where we found this blind bag, if you're wondering. <laughs> Last time, I really wanted Gilda, and I discovered that wasn't even in the collection. But Gilda is in this collection. And so I'm really excited. Hopefully, I do get Gilda. I was feeling the bag. This is a really bulky one, just like my other one. So this is the front of the bag. There are 24 to complete your rainbow, it says. So apparently, I guess you can collect the ponies and make a rainbow. Here are all the ponies that you get from this collection. There's a bunch of them, made by Hasbro. All right, so now I'm gonna open this blind bag up so I can get the customizing, because it's gonna be so fun. All right, I'm gonna cut off the top with my scissors. grows flowers in every color of the rainbow. Oh my goodness, I love this one. So it says flower wishes on the card and it's in Pinkie Pie mold. And I did not know that these were sparkly so that may pose a problem if I wanna customize it. But I'm gonna customize it anyway, even though I like this one and I don't have it. I still wanna customize this one. But before I do, before I transform her into a Halloween pony, this is what you get. You get a card that has the pony's name on it and a little bit of info about them. And these are other ones. Okay guys, the glitter is really transferring from this pony. But after you look at the card, here's Flower Wishes. Let's see if my camera will decide to focus today. Perfect. So this is Flower Wishes. I like the paint job on her. I don't like the, the glitter transfers, even though I love the sparkle. I think that they could have probably done another coat over it to make it so that it doesn't transfer. So you get a mini pony from the blind bag, you get a card, and then you also get a little, oh, rainbow power. All right, so you get a huge thing. Whoa, guys, whoa. Whoa. Okay, so this is a big thing. Okay, so here's a bunch of other sets that they want you to buy. Here are more blind bag ponies. And then you turn it around, and you there's like a little, wow, it's like a little um, sheet, guys. It's a little sheet. So it wants me to fill in my name, so I am going to do that. So it wants me to draw a little key and sign my name. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. K-I-T-T-Y, key, oh yeah. Do you see my key? I drew a key and then I wrote, wrote my name. So that's really cool. I'm gonna hang this poster up on my wall because I really like it. It's really pretty and it has Twilight's palace on it. All 
Alright guys, so after showing you how the pony is regularly and all that the, all the beautiful things that it comes with. Whoa! Uh all the beautiful things that this pony comes with. I am stand up please. I am so ready to customize this pony. I mean I like the way that she is, but with Halloween coming up, I really want a Halloween themed pony. So let's get this thing started. Alright guys, so the first thing that you do when you want to customize your pony, I have a bunch of paint here guys, like a ton. This is all my craft paint. So I'm going to look at my craft paint and see what colors I have that would be good for this if I want to make it a Halloween theme. The first thing I like to do when painting my pony is paint it a white coat. I've learned that that works best when painting um, a pony figure or really anything. Especially this, since this pony is sparkly, I'm gonna need something to put over it before I do the coat that I want it to be because it's so sparkly. The next color I'm gonna choose is this really pretty marigold color. Um, it's orange. It's the kind that I use for a lot of stuff that I'm making that are, that's Halloween. Then I, I want to use a black, but my black for some reason really stinks. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So let's see if we have a purple here. For some reason I have no purple, so I'm just going to go and see with the black. I'm going to use this black paint, even though it doesn't really work that well. I'm going to see if maybe I can mix it with this, not blue, I thought it was gray. Oops. Blah. All right, I'm gonna see if I can mix this with my gray paint to give it a better consistency so that I can start customizing my pony. So before we start, I'm gonna clear off my counter of all my little stuffs. And if you have a, if you're painting with a paintbrush, you obviously want to choose the paintbrush that is the smallest because since these ponies are so small, you're gonna wanna get into every little detail. So I am going to choose the smallest paintbrush in this 10 pack. To begin painting my pony, I am going to use a lid. It doesn't matter what it is. And you can mix your paint in your lid and that way it just makes it a lot easier for everybody. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pour my white craft paint onto the lid and paint my pony's body. I'm starting from the bottom and moving up, but it's your preference, whatever you wanna do, you can do. After painting the bottom, I'm gonna move up to the main, and trust me, the eyes are pretty hard. I had to repaint them a couple of times before I got them the way I wanted to because the way I had it they were they looked all squinted but the eye the eyes look open now so they're a lot better so then you paint your pony orange and I decided to paint the tail orange and the body black but it looks kind of brown so it was giving me some trouble so after I painted my pony's body and eyes and everything I got the finished result, which is this. I think that she turned out super cute, and I think I'm going to name her Pumpkin. Bye!